all right hey guys so it's badass brown skin back with another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i got this look with this wig and if you are interested then please stay tuned <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I will be reviewing a 360 Water Wave 20 inch wig from Ruyu here. So um, this is the parting throughout the wig. Um, so this wig have really good parting space. Um, one thing though that I realized after I put the wig on, the hairline was not as plucked as I desired for it to be. And I didn't realize that till after. But the parting throughout the wig is very good. It's just like the hairline that you would have to customize yourself. So here I'm going in in my bronzer palette and I'm going ahead and putting the shade all over my stocking cap. So that way when I do part my hair, um, it shows through through the wig awesome. So now I'm just going in and fitting the wig on my head, making sure that it fits securely. Um, seeing how the hairline looks, um, you know, just making sure I don't need to make any more customizations to it. So I'm taking my Forever Ultimate Lace Glue and I'm going to apply a thick layer of that across the hairline where the stocking cap is at because that is where we want to place the wig and secure the wig down at. Next, going in with my Got To Be Free Spray, I'm just gonna mix that on top of where I put the glue into. And then we're gonna take our blow dryer and blow dry that mixture until it is tacky. Um, I like to blow dry it to where it's tacky and not too dry. Um, Cause it's, if it's too dry, by the time you get to the other side of your wig to place it down, um, that area is gonna be dried up and you have to reapply product. So I like to get it perfectly tacky so that way when I place every part down, it, it sticks and it's ready to go. Then um, I just go back in with the blow dryer to just melt it in place even more. So as you can see, the hairline of my wig looks really wiggy. Um, I, was also <laughs> I was also very surprised at this point, um, but I didn't let it scare me off. I just went in where I would cut my baby hairs and pull down where my baby hairs will be at. Um, I went ahead and cut them at my normal height and I just kind of plucked the baby hairs as I went along. Like I would just pull them and you know what I'm saying just kind of customize it as I could go. I did not go in and customize this wig. Let me repeat that. I did not go in and customize this wig. I did not use any tweezers. So <laughs> with that being said, that is the case. That is the reason. But I am not upset at all with my results. So I'm going in with the foaming lotion to help lay down the edges. Um, I don't really like this foaming lotion because it, it just feels like it leaves like a residue. But I'm still going to use foaming lotion because I love the way foam lotion lays my baby hairs when I'm putting on a wig. So now I'm going to go in and secure my edges um, so that way I can go in and style the hair, figure out which way and how I'm going to wear it. As you can see, the hair texture is very, very beautiful. Um, even the light, me applying water to just rejuvenate it like I was stunned it was very pretty um, so I went in and I used this detangler spray for wigs and it actually has argan oil in it and I picked this up from the beauty supply store but it's specifically for wig so I'm just gonna spray this throughout my hair to stay away from tangles because I did have a few tangles here and there throughout styling the hair so I used the detangler spray to help and ease that issue out <laughs> All right, so I did my makeup while I was gone. So, um. Oh. All right, guys, so that's some quick plucking if y'all ever don't got no damn tweezers. You can, uh, don't pull too hard because you don't want to put a hole in your um, lace. But uh, that's definitely a way you can 
clean up your part, so don't be too shy of that method. So this is me just, you know what I'm saying, going through styling the hair. Uh, I was stuck between the side part and doing a up-down style, um, but I wasn't really feeling the side part for today. Although it looks really good, now that I'm looking at it editing, <laughs> I really, for some reason, wanted to go for this um, up and down style. So that's how I'm styling my hair now. Um, it was really quick and easy, and I ended up going in last finishing touches to add uh, some bronzer in between my par parts uh, to define them a little bit more. And yeah, guys, I was really happy with the outcome of this look. Um, I do wish I would have plucked the hairline a little bit more and made my baby hairs a lot more realistic. And I am going to go back and do that. But for the time being, I was very happy with my results. And I was happy with this wig, especially with how the hairline came before. <laughs> so um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. And please watch the rest of this video. Watch the rest of me styling. And I hope that... This was interesting and I hope that you guys like this video a lot and I'll be back with another one soon. Alright guys, this is the wrap up of the video. I hope that you guys took something from it and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I usually don't, I, I had, I struggled. If you couldn't tell in the footage, I struggled a little bit like um, trying to, cause I just put the wig on. Like I assumed that it was already like pre-plugged. So I just put it on and I just wanted to see like how the wig would look with me just putting it on. So I kind of regret that because I would have plucked this hairline more, but I feel like I made it work. Um, I am not mad at all with the results. I love the curl pattern. Um, other than that, this pattern is beautiful. Um, this lace is very full. This wig is very full. The wig cap is um, fitted, like it, it's not loose. I've been having a problem with that recently. Some of the wigs that people send me are a little, little loose. This one fits really good, um, so it feels secure. Um, and this is 20 inches and I'm, I'm loving the length. So the length is full all the way down to the tips. Uh, so yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, become a baddie today. I'll be back with another video soon. Badass Brown Skin out.